third graders. My name is Peggy Maddox and I'm from Kids on the Land. And once again, we're sorry we can't be with you out on the land, but we'll, since you can't come to us, we're gonna come to you with our videos. Now third graders already on our website are two videos that you might want to see before you see the one we're going to show you today. The first one is an introduction to kids on the land. And the second one is called Amazing Insects. And it's about those insects that are beneficial, our helpers, and some that are pests. So when you watch those, you'll get a good review of insects and what makes an insect an insect. But for today, we've decided to study one of those beneficial insects, the ladybug. And I've asked Kathy Dixon to come and lead us and let, help us to learn more and more about this beneficial insect, the ladybug. Hello, my name's Mom, and I love children, and I love telling stories to children and reading books to children and I love being on the land and I love most insects beneficial insects for sure well this is a story that Ms. Maddox wrote and then she turned it into a book and we're going to uh, give that book to your library and you can take it out and read it or have somebody read it to you today if you're willing to be a part of the story, there are parts in it that you get to be. So we're going to start out, and I'll tell you what your part is. If you see a cat coming by, <laughs> it's one of my cats, and it looks like it's gotten under the ladybug <laughs> that's over on the side. So this is the story about a ladybug, a lonely ladybug. You know, this ladybug woke up after a long winter's nap. And you know what that name is? Hibernation. You want to say it three times? Hibernation. 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 Yeah. And she looks around, and she doesn't see any of her friends. And she said, I wonder where they all are. I started, she says to herself, and you can be that ladybug. So pretend you're the ladybug. You've got spots on your back. You've got two white spots on your black head. And you say, oh, I started out as an egg underneath a leaf, say a tomato leaf. And this is what I look like, one of many. Down here, egg. So you kind of at your desk, you can kind of curl up like this and be an egg. And when it's time, it looks like maybe, oh, three to seven days, something happens and you change. And that word's called metamorphosis. You turn into something else. And this time you come out as a little black, spiny, spiky, almost look like a baby alligator. And your job is to eat. And so this is it. If you'll be like this little bitty, what it's called, is called a larvae. And you've got, how many legs if you're an insect? Remember? Six legs. And your job is to eat. And you go, and you eat, and you eat, and each time you get bigger, you drop your skin. There's another skin there, and you've gotten bigger and bigger. And so, can you be that larvae? And you go, split your skin. And then one time, when you're just the right size, you decide to go over and hook your tail on the underneath of a leaf, and you turn into a pupa. It almost looks right now like a lady, like a ladybug. But when you're first under there, you 
that magic word, metamorphosis. You want to say that three times? Metamorphosis. 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 It's like magic. You turn into something else, and what you turn into is, ta-da, a ladybug. And there you are, and there she was, and there you are. You know, it's summertime, and the days are warm, and you've got all your friends, and you're doing your job, which is to eat harmful bugs. And people, you know, human beings really like you because you look precious, you've got a nice color, and you don't hurt them, not harmful. And the farmers love you because you can eat up to 5,000 aphids in your lifetime, and that saves their crops. So there you were, humming along, doing your job, but what happens? The days get shorter, and the nights get longer, and it gets cooler, and you decide to go to sleep, maybe under a rock or someplace safe, and you sleep during the winter, and this is just what's happened now. You wake up, and you look around, and you say, where are all my ladybug friends when we did all our good work in the garden last year and out in the fields? And I don't see any. And I feel lonely. So you as the ladybug with your red body and your black spots and your black head and your two dots on the, on the head, you look and you see a grasshopper. And you say, these are your words, and you're going to say them uh, about six times, maybe. Have you seen any ladybugs? And those are your words. So you go to the grasshopper, and you look the grasshopper in the eye, and you say, what do you say? Have you seen any ladybugs? Now, change into the grasshopper. Beat your death, kind of get all scrunched up like a grasshopper would, and look up, and you see a bird coming after you, so you don't have any time to tarry, and you say, no. And go back and be the ladybug. And the next thing you see is a praying mantis. Now, the praying mantis, it's called that because those it's got how many legs is it going to have because it's an insect? Six legs. The front two legs do this. So you say, what's your words? Have you seen any ladybugs? And the praying mantis prays with his hands, looks to both sides, got big eyes, says, no, I don't see any ladybugs. But I will tell them that you're looking for them. And the praying mantis bows. And you bow to the praying mantis and say, thank you. And you say, hmm. Oh, I hear something over on a, on a flower. And so you go over to the flower. And what do you see? But a... Bumblebee, and the bumblebee is collecting pollen. This bumblebee's worked so hard, it's just covered up with pollen, and it's buzzing away. And you say to the bumblebee, words, have you seen any ladybugs? The bumblebee is so busy that it just doesn't answer, and it buzzes away. You can't even have time to say thank you. But then there's something else on another flower. And it's this soft, gentle butterfly. You go over a little butterfly and you say it very softly. Have you seen any ladybugs? And the butterfly is so quiet. It says, 
No. But I'll look out for you. And you say, you be the butterfly, you know, flap your wings, and then you come back and be the ladybug, and you bow and say, thank you. But you're pretty discouraged at this point. And you look around, what can I do? Where? Oh, there's a barn over there. So you fly over to the barn, and as you're there, at the barn, you look down on the ground, and there's a strange sight. There's an insect, a beetle. How many legs has it got? Six. But it's upside down, and it's pushing the ball with its back legs because its back legs are the most powerful legs that it's got. It's called a dung beetle. You know what dung is? Poop. It was so beneficial because it gathers up the poop from horses and cows and dogs and cat, you know, whatever's out there poop, rolls it up, and it's going to take it to its home underground where it feeds its young. And it's fertilizer. It makes the soil so much richer. Well, you decide as a ladybug, you're going to find out about this if that dung beetle has seen any ladybugs. So you fly down, boom, 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 and you look up to the dung beetle who is upside down. If you can imagine being upside down, rolling the ball, and you say, those are your words. Have you seen any ladybugs? And the dung beetle is so tired and grumpy because it's working so hard, it just says, no. You do say thank you. Dung beetle goes, does its job. Well, what are you going to do? Well, maybe if I fly a little way. Maybe if I fly over there, you know, there's a schoolhouse that's not very far away. So I'm going to fly over to the schoolhouse. And you fly over to the schoolhouse. Open window, fly into the window. Fly through the window onto the desk, and there is your principal. Very nice person, this principal. And you say, last chance. Have you seen any ladybugs? And the principal says, no. But you know what? If you turn around and fly back out the window, there's a yellow school bus outside that's loading up third graders for a kids on the land field day, and they're going to go out to a ranch, and I bet you'll find lots of ladybugs out there. So, you do that. You fly over to the bus. All the kids are on the bus. You get on the back of the bus driver, and the bus driver starts the engine, and he closes the door, and starts driving. And you know how it is on a school bus? You know how you go, well, you can do that at your desk, and it'll kind of make you feel good. So you're going down the road, and you look out, and you see the sky, and you see what's blooming, and you see the green, and you see the brown, and you see the red, and, and pretty soon the bus stops, brakes on, be the bus driver, brake on, open the door. Third graders go out, and you follow. When, when you fly out the door and the third graders are already there and they're doing a project for kids on the land and they've got ladybugs that they're releasing. And you can see as they reach in this little bag that, that, of ladybugs, they start letting them go. And sure enough, you see all these ladybugs and then here you go. You look over, and guess what? You found your friends, and you're not lonely anymore. And this is the story of the lonely ladybug. Now, Ms. Maddox, who wrote the story, 
and also made the book for you. If you get it out of your library, you're going to find good information about ladybugs, and you're going to find fascinating facts. And I hope you have a fine adventure. Thank you for being a ladybug and a grasshopper and a praying mantis and a bumblebee and a, with all of that, that pollen all over it and the <laughs> butterfly and the dung beetle. And thank you most of all for being who you are. Thank you. Well, there'll always be room.